Oh, hello, it's Dave. I've often prompted you to stay a while and listen. And this time, it's perfect because it's time to talk Diablo. Diablo rules over the realm of terror, down in the burning hells, while his two brothers, Mephisto and Baal, rule over the realms of hatred and destruction, like some sort of evil Mario Brothers of Death. You are the harbinger of our return, Diablo. Send forth your terror into hell. El Diablo also fathered a daughter, but if you haven't played Diablo 3, we'll leave you to figure out that WTF moment on your own. Great, thanks, scriptwriter. I've just spoilerized myself. No, 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 no. I haven't, I haven't spoiled myself. My pants are fine. I just, the scriptwriter done a spoiler on me. Diablo didn't get to enjoy much of a demonic childhood, as he was actually one of the seven heads of the primeval dragon, Tathamet. Tathamet's death was one of the causes for the universe coming into being its body becoming the fiery pits of hell, and, as we said, one of its heads became Senor Diablo. Which is Mexican for Mr. Asshole. I'm gonna go ahead and let you fact check that, because it's true. Got it? Good. Let's move on. The young Diablo did not mix well with others, if parent-teacher reports are anything to go by. An order of mages called the Horadrim were banded together by the archangel Tyrael to seek out and imprison the big demon and his horned brothers. Diablo was captured and stuck inside a soul stone, then buried underneath Tristram Cathedral in Honduras. He remained there for 180 years until the Archbishop Lazarus shattered the soul stone, releasing Diablo back into the world. No. Never break 180-year-old demon containment jewels. Come on, they teach you that day one of Tristram Mystical Arts College. What was he missing on Don't Release Diablos Into the Village Day? Archbishop, more like arch demon letting out guy, am I right? No, no, I didn't want the toilet paper. I told you four times. You're making me look like a diva. Over the course of the first two games, Diablo would take various human hosts and traverse the land fighting the archangel Tyrael. The beast contained herein shall not be set free, not even by you. Freeing his brothers and eventually popping down to hell to rally all the forces of evil where he is caught out and defeated, his soul stone being shattered at the hell forge. It was in Diablo 3, the third of the Diablo games, that various characters would conspire to resurrect the big red dude, which led him to being reborn with all the lords of hell within him, allowing Diablo to become the prime evil like Tathamet before him. Pretty nasty business. He immediately set off to assault heaven itself, leading to a big battle on the Crystal Arch. Of course, as always, good once again prevails over evil and Diablo is beaten, his physical form disintegrating as it descends from Angel Ten. Then everyone gets to go for a holiday in Whimsyshire. Hooray! But does Diablo ever stay dead? Flipping no. So you can expect Diablo 4 probably to drop in the next four years, kind of like Wurt's leg dropping from the defeated body of Bishy Bosch. Yes, there is an enemy called Bishy Bosch. And if you've ever used the semi-legendary item Wurt's leg as a weapon, you will realize it is about as effective as you would expect a partially digested limb to be. Actually, that that is quite effective. I may require my helmet of plus four to prosthetic defense. No! 